Hi, this is Softsaw Educational Video Productions, and I am your host, John. This is episode number 149, Contactor Box Code Violations. I want you to pause this video for a moment and see if you can identify how many violations there are in this box. Go ahead, pause. Good, you're back. How many did you find? One. The conduit running into the box is plastic with no fitting to secure it to the box. It is held in place with silicone and the lock nut you see is purely cosmetic. 2. The wire fill on this conduit is somewhere around 90%. Just a bit overloaded I would say. 3. The two bus bars are modified ground bars. You can even see they left a few green ground lugs in them. 4. The two bus bars carrying a line of 240 volts fed to the six contactors housed in the box should have been connected with inline cable connectors and wrapped in rubberized tape. 5. The bus bars are not labeled as hot or live. 6. The bus bars are fed by two pieces of number 10 wire not visible in this photo. 7. The bus bars are fed by number 10 wire that is in turn fed by a 60 amp breaker in the power supply box to the right, also not visible. 8. The contactor activation wire is a series of white number 12 wires connecting 7 wires. Again, a suitable size connecting lug should have been used and insulated with rubberized tape. 9. There is no dead front prior to the main cover, and the main cover has no locking mechanism on it, only a Phillips screw. 10. The panel cover is unlabeled as being live or energized. And 11. I saved the best for last. Not one ground wire in the entire unit. This is a live, easily accessible 240 volt box that not only lacks any safeguards or labeling, but isn't even grounded. How many violations did you come up with? This is by far the most dangerous code violation I have ever seen. The owner said the unit worked fine and did not need repairing, but I insisted before leaving that he at least let me label the cover warning. Live, 240 volt bus bars enclosed. This panel is energized. I did label it as such. I hope you have learned something from this and I would like to remind you that there are codes for a reason. Once again, thanks for watching and have a great day.